This program is proudly brought to you by the VAFA Live Official App. With live scores, team stats, player stats and much, much more. Everything you need for the VAFA in the palm of your hand. Download it from the App Store or Google Play now. Hello viewers, Dom here for Complete Sports Management at Melbourne University Oval where, where we have witnessed Uni Blues defeat Old Trinity by 26 points in a very entertaining game. I'm with the victorious coach uh, Heath Jamison. Heath, does, the boys were tr your challenge, especially in the first half and you were 13 points down at half time. What was the main factor in you being able to obviously being challenged by Old Trinity and then answer that challenge in the second half and ultimately walk away with the four points? Yeah, I thought, look, I thought Old Trinity's um, execution, ball in hand, I thought both sides were probably going at each other pretty hard early in the game, and it was um, slingshot sort of both ways, but I thought their execution going forward was a lot better than ours. I thought um, early in the first quarter, I thought we bombed the, forward a, bombed the ball forward a lot, which we weren't kicking it to the advantage of our forwards. I think Old Trinity the other way um, yeah. were really clean with their disposal. Um, they also stopped us getting the ball out the outer side, so um, getting some free footy forward. So every time we did kick the ball forward, we were under pressure. So um, hats off to them early in the game. They were, they were the much better side, I thought. Um, they probably kept us in the game. They missed some set shots, which they probably should have taken. Um, kept us in the game. I thought it was a bit of a grind for the first half. Um, really happy with the boys' effort um, in the third quarter. I think it set us up. We had a really good third quarter last week against... Um, Old Brighton and, and to the boys' credit, their third quarter today was really good as well. So it's an effort, effort intensity um, was good for us for four quarters. Our um, execution early in the game, we need to work on. Yeah, you touched on the intensity it was pretty much full on for the whole match. What do you, who do you think were the players in your team that were able to turn the, uh, the tide around in the second half in particular and, and were able to walk away with the win? Yeah, look, I think Ace does a really good job in there for us in the middle of the ground, I thought. Um, Tom Young and, and Rocket Ede, some um, grunt work in the midfield really set us up, you know, and I think our, our defence was pretty good. You know, they were under attack early, the ball was coming in with not much pressure, but I think they stood up, you know, I think a real few crucial efforts late, and we're working on a team defence model. It's going to take a while for us to um, to get used to how each other plays. We're a relatively new group, but, um, yeah, to the boys' credit, they fought out well. Yeah, and you've started the season with uh, two wins, which is always pleasing as a coach to get two Ws on the board. Um, obviously, going not looking too far ahead because we've got such a long season to go, but what are some of the indications that you're looking for next week and progressing further on into this season in order to keep this winning form continuing? Yeah, look, we've, we've made it the start of a year a real focus. You know, we, we've had a real crack at our boys over the pre-season, I think. Um, historically, well... News to me when I got to the club was historically we're slow starters and that just didn't quite make sense to me in a competition where, um, you know, relegation is a possibility. You know, I, I don't think you can start the season well. Four points in round one could be as vital as four points in round 18. So um, we want to start the season well. We're really happy with where we are now. Um, both seniors in reserves go into the break two and zip. Gives us a good platform to get to where we want to go. Um, I think you tick off relegation and then you, you try to look forward. So, yeah, no, we're happy with where we are. We've just got to keep the momentum going. Yeah, well, it's been a great start so far. And then, as you said, we're going to a, the Easter break now. And the team is 2-0. Uh, and uh, we thank you for your time. We look forward to seeing you again in a couple of weeks. No worries. Thanks. So that's... Um, and I'm going to throw to uh, Matthew, who's with Old Trinity. Thanks, Dom. I'm here with head of Old Trinity, Coach Bernie. Bernie, good game tonight. What are your thoughts on the game? Tough loss, though. Yeah, look, Matty, it was a good game of footy, I guess, as a neutral spectator. I imagine a few people mentioned that. Uh, from our point of view, we felt we controlled most of the contest, certainly for the first half. They came back at us really well in the third, uh, and it was a tight one going in into that last quarter. Um, you know, we, we felt we might have the run. I think possibly losing, um, losing that rotation late in the second quarter cost us a bit. Um, you know, it was a little bit warm out there and, and the, you know, big ground and, and a pretty high-intensity tempo game. Um, but look, in the end, they were able to close it out with a 10 to 4 second half, and we need to learn from that because, um, yeah, we were outplayed, and all credit to Uni Blues, they were too good on the day. 
a very good game from Alex Emery, I thought, and Joycey up forward. What do these performances do for a team that's kind of in the hunt? I mean, what kind of a, what does that do for a team? Yeah, look, Dobby is a young kid coming through. Al Emery, um, we were really pleased with him today. I noticed him first or second practice game. We asked him to step up and play a bit of senior footy. Just he looks so comfortable and natural. So I think he's going to be a real player to watch in the coming years. It was great to see just his, his smart of faking handball, wheeling, hitting into a leading forward in that last quarter when he was fatigued. Just shows the quality and the class of the kid. Um, look, I thought Joycey coming back in with, uh, with Weatho being out gave us another dimension with his speed. Um, and he got on the end of a few. I just still thought, and I sort of mentioned to him, we've always known he has the ability to take a catch and he's a great kick for goal. It's the other elements when he doesn't have the footy he needs to work on. And that's, that's still a work in progress for Sam. So um, some good signs getting on the end of them. If he can clean up those other elements of his game and make it a more rounded performance, um, you know, we'll be much more pleased with him because, you know, obviously the goals are nice, but that's not the focus point for him to keep working. But we'll work through those with him. And yeah, a return of, I think it was three or four goals is certainly good. You got old Xavier next week. What do you take from a performance like this and what do you bring to next week and what do you bring to training? What will you think you'll focus on the most? Oh, look, it was certainly an improved effort, I think, from our guys and a, and a, and a closer adherence to our, our structures and our team guidelines or rules um, than it was around Monson Burnett. So we'll take that out that we're building and growing and improving. Um, the fact is we've still had two, you know, in the end, fairly comfortable losses. So it makes that a huge game for us. Obviously, there's a really strong rivalry between Trinity and, and Zabs. Um, and we were able to have the wood on them last year, and I'm not sure how they went today, but I know they started well last week. So I think with the break, it gives us an opportunity to work on a lot of those elements of our game, you know, going into Easter with the week off. So we'll look at the tape, we'll look at their tape. Um, you know, we've got two weeks to prepare, um, and we certainly won't have any excuses going into, um, into Zabs for our first home game in a fortnight. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Bernie, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks, mate. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.